All right, so I'm gonna just talk a little bit about cycling your tank and how you do that. Whenever you get any type of aquatic animal, they need healthy water. And when it comes out of the tap, it usually has zero ammonia, zero nitrites, zero nitrates. Sometimes that's not correct. Sometimes it's a little bit high in some areas. But for the most part, you should expect your tap to have zero pretty much along the lines. And that's because water goes through processes before it reaches your tap. In nature, um, nature cycles it just the same as you want to cycle your tank so that it's cycled for your axolotls since it's not going downstream and having plants take out the nitrates and um, all that fun stuff. Let's talk about the biggest misconceptions of cycling. One of those is that your water contains the cycle and that is completely incorrect. The cycle is in your filter and in your um, substrate and on your decor, but mostly it's in the filter. Um, putting water from one tank into another will not do anything for you. Another misconception is that you can cycle your tank in 24 hours by just letting the filter run, a brand new filter. It takes over a month to cycle your tank and the filter needs to have an ammonia source that entire time, not just plain water from the tap. Um, another misconception is that if your animal is not a fish, it doesn't need a cycled tank. I've heard so many people say that turtles don't need cycled tanks, axolotls don't need cycled tanks, they're a salamander. Um, that's all false. Does your dog want to drink pure ammonia? No. Your axolotl, your turtle, nobody else wants to be in pure ammonia. And um, they need cycled water as well. The bacteria that take nit ammonia and convert it into nitrite and then take nitrite and convert it into nitrate, which is the final step of the cycle, plants can absorb that nitrate, but nothing else can absorb that nitrate. Um, I know there's some products that might, but for the most part, that's where the cycle ends is at nitrate and you do a water change to take that nitrate out and to put in some water with zero nitrate or very low nitrate. So for you to get that nitrifying bacteria in your tank, you have to have a filter running for over a month with an ammonia source because the bacteria eat that ammonia and they will die if they don't have ammonia. You also have to have dechlorinated water because chlorine is there to kill bacteria and you are trying to build bacteria in your filter. So the chlorine coming in contact with your sponge will totally kill your cycle and you'll have to start over. So once you've run it for over a month and you've added ammonia to your tank and you've tested your water and you have zero ammonia, zero nitrite, and you have nitrates, you do a water change. Do not change the filter material and then you put in new water and you can add your animal that you're putting in that tank. Those quick start bacterial in a bottle things do not work the way that they that you think that they do. Most of the time what they'll do is they will develop the cycle faster but it will not develop the cycle right as soon as it's put in like a lot of them do say that they do. So you can use those but don't expect that you can just throw fish into a tank after you've just thrown bacteria in a bottle into the tank. It takes a, it might take a, a week or two or maybe it'll still take a month, it just depends. One big thing that works better than bacteria in a bottle products is when you put filter media from an other tank that is cycled into the new tank, it will cycle within you know a week um, compared to over a month. And that's what I do with all of my new tanks. I always just take half of the like tiny pieces of filter material from each of my tanks and I throw it into that filter. And that usually helps the cycle get established way faster and I can throw axolotls, fish, whatever in way sooner. But make sure that you're not taking used material from a tank that has issues or could potentially have diseases that could transmit to the other fish or species that you're putting that into. 
once the cycle is established, you're going to want to keep an eye on the parameters. I use the API Master Test Kit for freshwater, but there's other test kits out there. Um, and just make sure that ammonia stays at zero, nitrate stays at zero, and nitrate is below 40. Once it gets to 40, you do a water change. So if you have maybe one, cray one crayfish in a 600 gallon tank, you're probably not going to need to do a weekly water change because that's such a small bioload for your tank. But if you have one crayfish in a 10 gallon tank, you might need to do one every two weeks. If you have one axolotl in a 10 gallon tank, you're probably gonna have to do it once every two days. So just uh, keep an eye on your water to see when you should be changing it because the one, the general rule is once a week, 20% of the water changed. Along with your 20% a week, water changes or whatever you deem to be the best for your bio load, you're also going to want to wash out that filter material whenever you are doing water changes and just do that by squeezing the filter sponge or whatever you're using for your filter media in old tank water. Do not let it come in contact with the tap water because that has chlorine and that will kill it. Another thing that can kill it, speaking of chlorine, is a lot of antibacterial medicines. Whenever you're giving your animals um, antibiotics, you want to take them out of the tank because those antibiotics will likely kill your cycle and that can cause a whole new problem so you have a sick animal that just has like high ammonia now and it's gonna not fare very well for you. So let's go over what we said. Okay so cycling your tank takes over a month. Test your water. Water changes once a week 20% or different depending on your bio load on your tank and rinsing the filter sponges out in tank water not tap water now you're gonna probably wonder well I have a filter that has cartridges in it and they need replaced once a month um, yeah throw those out <laughs> um, I would recommend getting um, a sponge like a flat sponge from eBay that's for filter material you can get them for cheap like so so cheap just cut that to the size of your filter material of your filter cartridge and put that in instead and that will cycle and that will last that will last longer than your paper thin sponge cartridge that most of these filter Produ producers, I guess you can call them, make. Um, you can see it in my video of how to set up an axolotl tank where I show you how I just shoved sponges into all the filters that required cartridges. Um, I think that's one of the saddest ideas that they've ever done where they made cartridges because it doesn't make any sense because it cannot cycle if you're throwing it away once a week like they say to. That's just a way for them to get money in my opinion because you're getting a new one every month instead of once every six months. What you need to do when you need to replace a sponge, what I do is I just cut the sponge in half and insert a new one so then I just replace little pieces by little pieces and I keep an eye on the water. Can you go without changing your filter sponge? Not really because eventually there will be enough degree, debris caked in that if you don't change it, it's just, you'll, you'll know what I mean when you get there to the point where you need to replace that filter sponge where it's just a disgusting cakey mess and you, no matter how much you squeeze there's still some in there and it's just gross. And that's when you need to replace it. Um, I try to let mine last as long as they will, but what happens if you don't change your filter sponge and you just keep it in there for years well likely what will happen is that you will have a tank cycle crash because the filter material will not have any porous areas for bacteria to grow and instead the bacteria will die because they have nowhere to go and uh, waste is filling all of the porous areas Sometimes your tank will crash if uh, the bio load changes, sometimes you'll experience a crash. Um, if you mess up in some way, you'll experience a crash. And all you can do is you can take your animals out, your fish, your axolotls, your salamander, whatever it is, take them out of the tank and try to cycle the tank again. 